Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and in today's video we have an amazing 9-1 run in the evolution cup from 3300 into 3400 plus this is like an art group like a very high MMR and I think it's around page 2 uh, leaderboard uh, Sir Zatch uh, he is one of the best players in the world and he hit 3600 last season I think he hit number 1 and number 2 as well and today's battles we have some climbing in the uh evolution cup this is the, the team is basically like the three of the best five in the best uh in, in the pv poke ranking and except that we don't have a chance here which is good okay i don't like a chance in this cup and i feel like there are some good pokemons that can still deal with the chancy uh we have vigoroth and we have i think that's pretty much the only one that's good no there is like some uh What's his that thing in Prime Uh Valorash is, is running a Togetic. I do believe that if you want to run Togetic in this cup, you need to run Steel Wing so you can handle the ice as well, not just the dragons. So in that situation, we saw that Valorash technically sacked his Togetic. And now uh, Sudzatch is, is at the point where like he is going to outnumber the opponent. Uh, what's the play here? Well, technically, if... If, if hunter gets two uh, ice punches that might ko i don't know no it doesn't actually now looking at the health they he should survive as long as he doesn't get sniped i think he should be fine uh, we see that he's throwing this and now all you need to do is just to swap out and throw in good timing which he does so that was a very good game well played well played Yeah, says that I thought like uh, at one point I miss uh, I I mispronounced it. Okay, we have a shadow dragon enemy. This is dragon. This mean is is uh, is decided by IV. If both have horrible IVs, uh, we can we we okay. In this matchup, you usually try to see which one is gonna get to the yellow first. Uh, that will probably define who is going to win the game. And from that, we could tell that Sedzach has a horrible dragon IV. See, guys, he get to the yellow before. Okay, let me. See, he gets to the yellow before the opponent, which means he has a horrible uh, IV or the opponent has a way better IV. And then, and, 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 and usually, whenever you see this, that means you win CMP because you have a better, a better attack, less defense. And we see that he gets the shield, and now we're swapping to get energy lead on Vigoroth. This is an actual good play. I usually like this because now we have a counter lead, so we should beat the, the counter users, even if they are fighters. Uh, are we gonna shield this i mean this might be a night slash so shielding night slash might be like uh, something we regret in case they get a, a boost opponent did not shield and now vigoroth can for sure farm all the way down so what's the play here well well we have to see what they will bring right it's most likely going to be a vigoroth if it's a vigoroth it's going to be a tricky because vigoroth has rock slide so it's that decide to let his vigoroth die because he is most likely going for the catch uh well Technically, Charger Buck can live one Rock Slide, but not two. Uh, we need two moves here to kill the Vigoroth, so I'm assuming he's going for the catch, which he does, and we see that that was the reason he sacked uh, his, his own Vigoroth and didn't uh, aggressively swap out. So this is a very good play. Now we saw that he waited the turn, and now he's throwing, and just he was checking if the opponent is going to uh, swap or no. And that was a very impressive play, let's be honest. Okay, we are 2-0 into the set at 3300 3, MMR uh, battles. A Dragonair into Golbat. This is a matchup where Dragonair, any neutral matchup, is in favor of Dragonair always. Why? Because of the superior fast move pressure from Dragon, uh, Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath is technically the best fast move pressure, uh, arguably, uh, when it comes to one turn. Uh, Golbat has wing attack. Wing attack is a good fast move. I, I put it like an above average, but like an A tier wing attack. But Dragon Breath is technically S plus tier. Uh, opponent swapped in a Vigoroth. This is like actually a good play by Sudzatch because now he chipped, which means he can farm all the way down. They can get a Rock Slide and a Body Slam. If that's enough, we have to throw. Yeah, I think that's enough. So we have to throw. So this is a good recognition by Sidzach. And now opponent didn't shield. I'm assuming there is a dragon, a dragon here in the back. Usually when people don't shield like that, that means they have something that will wall us. Okay, I think we have to get a we have to get a catch. That's our only hope. Uh we live this, uh, but like we're getting lower and lower. 
<laughs> I actually like this play. Like, you get to a move, then swap, and now we can throw the rock slide. And this rock slide should be enough. So, that was a good play. Okay, that wasn't enough, but the counter after should KO. Yeah, that was a good game. Uh, I actually know that lots of people ask me about Golbat. I thought don't. I said don't use it. Why? Like you only win if opponent stays in it. High MMR people don't stay. Once they are debuffed, they will just get out. Like look at that. There is so many Golbats because people are trying to hard counter Vigoroth. So on a 500 IQ play would be just use a Dragonair. Yeah, just as easy as that. Uh, we're going straight to Body Slam. Body Slam is the better charge move you want to throw here. And now you can just shield actually and farm all the way down. Then just aggressively swap into Vigoroth or something. Uh, let's see what they do. Oh, my opponent is just going all in against uh, Vigoroth. Three. I'm assuming it is a third hard counter or something. Look at that. Like, counter does no damage here. Uh, opponent is rocking Fairy Wind again if you're running Togetic. I think Steel Wing is actually better. Yes, it generates less damage, less energy, but you at least hit the ice for super effective. And, well, technically, people are, aren't running that many ice. Celio back in the days used to be everywhere. I don't know why I haven't seen any Celio. Maybe I will try it tonight. Uh, we see that opponent insta throw. This is usually an X scissor when it's a blind throw because X scissor is the better charge move. And now our charge bus is low key loaded on energy. All we need to do is just to get to another discharge and we should win this game. Unless. Okay. Unless. That was the unless. Uh, opponent is running Ancient Power. I think Ancient Power is actually good on Togetic because there is so many gold bats. Okay, moving into the last battle in this set. We have two sets of battles and I think the score will be is 4-0 so far at 3300 MMR. We have some queue time here. Uh, I am assuming that uh, if you want to play, there is less queue time in Evolution Cup because not everyone prefers to play Master League. When opponent swaps like that, always throw a charge move, then you can get the hell out if you want. You, yeah, the opponent sacked it fully, and now we have the alignment advantage, but we can just get out, to be honest, and we can just rely on Charge Bug. I think the play now is just rely on Charge Bug having a good play in the back, uh, uh, versus whatever they have in the back. Opponent stays in, means they either have their own Vigoroth or something that is a neutral to Vigoroth so they would rather win this here. Uh, Exorcist doesn't do that much damage. This is supposed to be a good matchup for Charger Bug but it's actually not as good because Vigoroth get access to Rock Slide this season. So that wasn't a necessary buff to be honest but you know like we don't get to ask Niantic. Uh, and Niantic doesn't care to tell us. Oh my, that was a that was a very greedy bait by the opponent, and we fell for it. Uh, so we are in a tough situation, unless, well, I don't think we're in a tough situation because we can just spam these, like throw back to back, and then just get out. Okay, exit number two, and now we swap, and I think Dragon Dragonet should be able to farm everything down. That's why you use a Dragonair. It's so freaking good of a Pokemon. Oh my, that's so much dust. Look at that. I think if you have a Star Piece and you use a premium set right now, you get around 48,000 dust. That's a lot of dust, okay? Okay, we are up to 3378. Moving into the next set. What's the next set? Yeah, this is the next set. Okay, we're playing Hikimi. Or something a graveler a graveler is 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 one of those pokemons that is bad day one day two but becomes everywhere after because people will start to hard countering vigoroth and usually whatever hard counter vigoroth lose to graveler and that's why people always use Gra graveler after two days into the cup uh, except that opponent rocking uh, graveler day one uh, I think if I were them, well, technically their team is just too weak to dragon it, so they couldn't do anything. So they, whenever they face it, I like the no shield here. I know people just always shield, but I like the no shield here. Look at this, you no know shield, and then you farm the the bat all the way down. Opponent did five. Yeah, that's poison fang. What the heck? It's supposed to go for shadow ball. Uh, they do have the the ape. So uh, at this point, we throw discharge. And if they sh if they no shield, we just go X scissor because X scissor is like because now they don't have health and they have to respect it. And now the Vigoroth is just gonna farm everything down. And trust me, Prime Ape is not a Vigoroth answer. It's not okay. I know people are trying to hype it up, but it's not a Vigoroth answer. 
if you want to answer Vigorot, you just have Legend, Seven Queen. I think he's a Japanese player. He's actually one of the best players in the world as well. And this matchup, I don't know who wins this matchup. I know that uh, Dragonair wins the, the wins the two versus Surfetch. Uh, I like the way the opponent played. Get a shield and then get the hell out. Uh, opponent so far has two hard answers technically to Vigoroth. Usually they have something that loses to Vigoroth unless they are running three Vigoroth answers, which is actually a good team. I just hard countered the most common Pokemon, which everyone has. And <coughs> since they left there, I like the aggressive swap here. And now we are about to see uh, the no shield scenario here. Uh, I mean, luckily, uh, like Sidzat just swapped, which allowed them to get a counter lead. And now we are in a tough situation. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah. The third was actually weak to Vigoroth. So maybe if we saved our own Vigoroth, we would have ended up in a better situation. So usually this is what I call like leading team. But sometimes people would just run triple counters. We saw that the opponent was good against Vigoroth in the, the, in the lead. And then they swapped something that also beat Vigoroth. So you would assume that your hope is to beat the third with your own Vigoroth. Because technically... They need to hot counter what hot counter is Vigoroth, and that's the Pillow Swine, right? So, sw saving the Vigoroth there would actually be the call, but it could be wrong if they have a triple uh, Vigoroth answers. Oh my, yeah, this is a tough city. This is just a tough game. Uh, even though Pillow Swine into Vigoroth is actually not a comfortable matchup for Vigoroth because Avalanche does so much, and technically, you could say that it's actually slightly bulkier. Like it has a decent, like uh, Pillow Swine has a decent bulk, unlike Mammoth Swine, which has no defense. Okay, moving into the next game. Here we're stuck in the queue time. Dragonair into Dragonair. And I saw, we saw that last time, since Edge was able to win CMP. And now we are going on the same base. I like that he is going for the Aqua Tail in case the opponent was is, is trying to catch on a ghost. People do that in the Evolution Cup. They always try to catch on a ghost in a Dragonair mid because people just spam Body Slam, right? So the, the ideal play is just go for the Aqua Tail. Uh, I don't know if that was a good timing. I wasn't looking for the, for, the, for the second opponent going for the aggressive bait. Well, it's not a bad bait, okay? If, the if, 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 if you bait and the bait is questionable and the opponent shield, then that's a good bait, okay? Let's just say that. Uh, oh my. I think, I think uh, Charger Boss lives with 1 HP. Okay, they don't have it. Maybe they are running... Break break for the chance. I saw a pound coming in. Oh my, please. Oh, dude, don't use chancy. And don't save shields for chancy. That's a bad play, okay? People have lives. Stop using chancy against your opponents. Oh my. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, we got got like four, four charge moves so far. Chancy hasn't gotten a single one. Uh, oh my. I mean, whatever they throw, it's going to do up to half. Yeah. I like the aggressive farm down. Now we're just going to do one then throw. No, never mind. Opponent top left. The opponent just wasted seven minutes of their life trying to prove a point and then they failed. Sorry, my, my, my friend. Don't use Please don't use it. It's bad. Just because it's good in PV poke doesn't mean it's good. It shot the boss into Dragon. This is a dominant matchup for Dragon, but it's... But technically, Dragonair does not dominate any matchup. Why? Because any any short move they throw does lots of lo lo loads of damage. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is just we're just gonna chip if they shield. Uh, we can throw another one if they don't shield. We can just go Vigoroth. We can always go Vigoroth. Also, uh, we instead throw, which is actually a good play. Surprisingly, the opponent did not throw their their first charge move. Well, technically, that was a CMP. So if they have two here, they will be. I don't think that would be enough to take out the Vigoroth. I would actually no shield there. Yeah, this is why. Well, wait, was that a CMP? Wow, that was a good play, actually. Okay, Exorcist doesn't KO Dragon. Okay, okay, speaking of Celio, I think Celio is actually amazing of a Pokemon. But, okay, this is the first time we've, 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 we've seen one, which is good to see, okay? Celio is actually a good Pokemon. And look how how much damage Dragonair was able to put out. That's why you run Dragonair over other dragons, because it put the steel Pokemon in a very uncomfortable situation. Uh, Body Slam, he doesn't do that much. And now Charger Boss just gonna run over their entire team. And that was a good game. 
That was a good game. Moving into the lost battle, I think. I think. No, there might be one more. Dragonair into Vigoroth. This is a good matchup for Vigoroth in the two, technically, but Dragonair always shield and then get a shield and then swap out and then Dragon Breath something down after. So what we're going to do is we are going to CMP them. Okay, they shielded. So now we can just shield. <laughs> uh, opponent swapped in into Chansey. Oh my... I saw that the battle is 4 minutes, I'm like, there is no way Evolution Cup battles last 4 minutes, and now, like, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense, there is a Chansey there. Oh my, please, people, stop using Chansey, it doesn't even beat anything, it's just good on PV poke right now. Yes, you might find some people, well, technically, you could say that the opponent is trying to bait out Vigoroth, but whatever is weak to Vigoroth, technically, is also weak to Trudge Boss. No, 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 no. Uh, well, technically, if you have if you have uh, dust clubs, you should be safe. It's what I aggressively swapping dust clubs, to be honest, not Chansey. Oh, they have faint attack, I think. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's not hex. That's faint attack for sure. Or do they have bolter guys? They do have bolter guys. So what's the play here? We go back to Dragonair and then we try to throw as many charge moves as possible and then farm this thing down. And then they have to bring in the Chansey because the other Pokemon is, I think, dead. And we kill this Chansey. Well, that Chansey was able to put out no damage. Like, literally. It was able to put out no damage. Oh, my. No, never mind. Dragonair proving that it's the best Pokemon. Beating Vigoroth and Chansey and those clubs. Making it... Uh, making an argument why it's the best Pokemon. It's not Vigoroth, it's not uh, Charger Boss, it's not Chansey, and it's not Dust Club. So yeah, thank you so much everyone for watching. This is the end of the video. If you guys like these battles, make sure to leave a like on the channel, make sure to subscribe. And thank you so much Sidzats Zero for sending me these amazing high MMR, high skill gameplay. And yeah, if you guys uh, are interested in featuring your battles on this stream, make sure to uh, submit your battles through the, ding the link down below. And I apologize on my voice because I am... Um, I have a couple of issues right now, a headache, a flu, and middle, mid, middle ear something, I don't know what they called it, uh, where like my ear is technically, I can't hear, I I, uh, I don't know what's the name, so I, I, I don't, I'm not going to explain, so yeah, thank you so much everybody for watching, and see you in the next video, peace.